Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to bring you a Stitch Fix haul. Um, I have some items that I've ordered through the Freestyle section of Stitch Fix, and then I also got a box which I haven't unboxed yet, so that's really what got me motivated to film because I wanna see what's in my box. Um, but yeah, I wanna show you some Stitch Fix stuff. I've been really loving their services lately, and I will say the stuff I got from the Freestyle is actually sponsored by Stitch Fix because I am a Stitch Fix partner. Um, so I have changed sizes in the last few months, and it's basically forced me to create a whole new wardrobe and uh, I'm a girl that likes options so <laughs> stitch fix and them constantly re-upping their like freestyle section and being able to do a styling box is really working out for me it's also helping me get to know some new brands and things that I might not know what sizes to get etc so I'm really enjoying that but let me show you what I got through the freestyle section first and then we'll open up my box together. So the first I got is from this brand, The General Good. And this comes in straight sizes and plus sizes because I originally got it in 2X. It was too large. Uh, they didn't have a 1X available, so I went with an XXL. So we'll see if that fits. Um, the little, you know, cap sleeve type top, it has uh, drawstrings at the bottom. So you can ruche those up and give it a nice shape. But it's kind of... Um, I don't know what texture it is. It's it's basically like a waffle. Yeah, I'm looking at it's like a waffle knit. Oh, Maeve is in the background. Hey, Maeve. Say hello. All right, that's my cat, Maeve. Lola's down here sleeping. Um, she can't climb up on the table quite like Maeve can. So anyways, really loving blue lately. And I think this like blue and white is just nice and crisp for summer. Gives a little, you know, Grecian vacay vibes so to go with this top i wanted a pair of shorts and i don't wear shorts very often so again i'm in new territory here so i looked at something that i felt like was going to be long enough but not too long and still had a style so this is from the brand vigos in a size 20 and it's just kind of a basic denim short but it does have a little bit of cuffing here with the raw hem um, so hopefully this stays up because sometimes cuffing doesn't stay up for me. It is sewn on the outside. Let's see, is it sewn on the inside? Yeah, it's sewn on the inside seam too. So that should help prevent it from rolling down at least all the way. The back pocket's pretty basic, but I love kind of like a medium wash denim short. Hopefully these fit really nicely and we'll go with the top. Um, but We'll see, I, I don't wear denim shorts often, so we'll find out if this year I can get these ones to fit well, um, because I might need a little bit longer, but we'll, we shall see. I will say there's a little bit of threading where I guess they must have had a, um, maybe a price tag or something here, so I will need to remove this at some point, but not right now. And then the last thing I got from the freestyle section was a jumpsuit. Now, I remember a few years ago, I had gotten a black jumpsuit and I wore it all summer long. It was like the perfect piece. Go into the, go run errands, throw it on. Go out to lunch really quick with my friends, throw it on. I just loved how easy and versatile it was. So I wanted to get another one. This one is also from the freestyle section on Stitch Fix. And if you're not familiar, basically there's a section you can just shop without doing a styling box. Um, so this is by the brand Michael Stars, um, and it is in a 2X, and it is a tank top, just like black jersey jumpsuit. It has a drawstring waist, um, which the one I used to love had. Just again, brings in a really casual look, almost at leisure, um, but can be elevated with the right accessories. And then the bottom is kind of um, more of a straight leg, and sorry, this went in my closet and <laughs> dogs and stuff, but it has a little cuff at the ankle, just a slight one, which I thought was really cute. So hoping this also fits really nicely and looks good on because these things can make your life so easy in the summer. But I'm really curious what my stylist sent me. I asked for some summer pieces. The nice thing about Stitch Fix Styling Service is they send you a preview. Your stylist will pick like, um, I don't know, eight, nine styles. You can go through, select which ones you want in your box. I believe this time I selected two that I wanted in my box. And then the other items, if you only want that many or less or more, they'll fill whatever's left with other items with more feedback. So um, I think I gave them that I, you know, I picked, I think kind of two black pieces. I think I've asked for maybe a little bit more color in the other pieces. So we'll see what I got. Um, but yeah, so this is my Stitch Fix box. 
let's open up and look. And I love, you know, I don't always love what I get in my styling boxes, but I love the mystery of a styling box. Something about a mystery box. Sign me up, obviously. Okay, so that comes with all the things you need to send things back. The little envelope does have prices for things, so we'll um, look at that towards the end. And this is the little preview of what they said. I, I definitely see some color, see some florals. Very intrigued of what this ends up looking like. So let's open it up. Okay, first thing is something navy. Looks like a tank top. All right, so a little ruffle tank top um, in a navy color. This is from the brand Socialite and A2X. It is ribbed. I can pretty much say right away that I probably will not keep this, mostly because I'm not that big of a fan of ruffles, um, but I do remember that I did have a bodysuit similar to this that just only had ruffles in the like sleeve portion, and I did like that. So we'll see how it fits, but um, not exactly my style right away, but a little ruffle tank. I do like a basic with some style. This next one's a really pretty color, and it looks like, is it a dress? Is it a jumpsuit? It is a jumpsuit. Okay, I like the fabric. It is, feels nice and light and stretchy. A really pretty color, but it's a little tank jumpsuit, and I'm noticing it's kind of like square neckline, but the back has a little peekaboo triangle, so very curious how my bra will look with this. Um, although I do, I could wear just like a cute bralette. This is from the brand Market and Spruce in a 2X. And then it looks like it's a full length um, jumpsuit with a bit of like a wider leg. So we'll see how that one works. I am open to more jumpsuits, so that could be a great option. This next piece is maybe one of the ones I agreed to get. Yeah, it's a really soft fabric. I'm not sure that I realized how soft the fabric would be. Um, yep, this is one of the ones I agreed to get. Let's see. This is a dress from the brand Nine Britain and a 2X um, Willow Brushed Knit Maxi Dress. So brushed knit, that's why it's so soft. Um, but a little floral. I do love the floral, floral print for this and I really like the colors in it. Um, so it is pretty much just a maxi dress, but the back of it has this little strap detail, which is cute. So we'll see how that fits. Kind of loving a little bit more. I don't know why I associate that dress a little bit more 90s grunge style. Like I've got flowers on it, but like, I don't know. That's where my brain goes. I was a child of the 90s. Can't really say I really understand 90s style. But like that with a really chunky like lug sole sandal could be cute. I think this is the other piece I agreed to get. So this is um, a wrap dress, I believe, from the brand Kaylee. And it is also in a 2X. And I thought the print was interesting. I liked that it was kind of like bunches of flowers with some other like smaller print. Um, and it's just a v-neck wrap dress and just a basic skirt. So this is, yeah, this is this must be what it was. I asked for two black items, so I said, please send me some of that stuff. But excited to see how this fit. I like the fabric, it's kind of slinky, which I think works well for the summertime. All right, and the last thing, is this a skirt? I hope it's a skirt. It's a skirt. All right, this is by the brand Skies Are Blue in a 2X. And it looks to be a um, accordion midi skirt in this floral fabric. Really pretty, yellows and greens. Um, very excited to see how this looks. I am kind of loving like this kind of top with like a basic tee or maybe a chambray top. Um, so excited to see how this skirt works. And let's just go ahead and see the prices so I'm not sad about anything ahead of time and I can know the prices before I fall in love. So. I do have mine set to be between $50 and $100, and I really hope that these items are fitting within that or close to it, with the exceptions of the ones that I selected myself, which if I selected it and it was higher, then that is my own issue. Okay, this one's not the prices, but um, 
Anyways, they do give you a little note. This is from my stylist, Anna. They also give you outfit um, inspiration and actually you can go on to Stitch Fix and buy the accompanying pieces if you like any of them. Hi, Maeve. She's so nosy. Okay, so let's just go ahead and know the prices. So awesome, this is such a more affordable box. And if you buy all five pieces, it's 25% off. Um, I'd be shocked if I wanted all five, but who knows? Okay, so the the ruffle tank top is $36, which I think is really appropriate, appropriate for a tank top like that. Something you could wear to work really easily, something you could wear out. Um, the faux wrap knit dress is 58. The long maxi dress that's black with florals is 58. The sleeveless black, uh, sleeveless back, sleeveless back cutout jumpsuit is 54. And then the midi skirt is 58. So everything is within the price range I asked and actually on the lower end of it. So that would make the whole box 264. And if I bought all, I would get the 25% off discount. Plus I paid $20 to get the styling. So if I bought the whole thing, it'd be 178, which I think for Stitch Fix is actually like a really affordable price if you wanted everything. But I haven't tried it all on. So let's do that now, see what we think. And I will decide what I want to keep. Again, I'm in the unique situation of needing multiple pieces i mean i always buy too many clothes anyways but i'm in a unique situation where i really am you know redoing my entire wardrobe for summer um and if i like it all um i see no reason why that price would keep me from it all so let's try it on and see what we think okay hello as you can see lola's in the corner she's snoozing away we just got home for Mother's Day, so she's a little bit tired. So the first outfit is the top and shorts that I got from Freestyle. So with the top, um, I do think the 1X probably would have been my perfect size. The XXL does work and it is fine. I think I actually prefer it with the sleeves up. And it is a very pretty cute top. It's just a little bit more form fitting. And if I had had it in a one X, it probably would have been a little bit looser. Um, but I do like the top a lot and think it's really cute. Again, beautiful colors, really pretty. Um, I'm going to the beach in a couple weeks and I might pack this. The shorts, I am, hmm, I would love to know your thoughts. So one is, I actually do feel like the length is pretty good. Now, I have, meaty inner thighs and these kind of go right down to it but they don't necessarily cover it fully so that probably means they're going to come up a little bit in the middle when i walk let's see let's test wow they actually stayed down pretty well um i do think they look decently well the back feels a little bit um loose in the butt bottom area but i doubt anyone but me would notice that the main thing that I think is making me a little bit uncomfortable is they are lower rise than I'm used to. I didn't realize how many of my jeans come above my belly button until I put these on. I'm like, shouldn't there be like three more inches where they come up? I'm really used to my jeans coming up higher. And so it feels weird to have this part of my stomach not in my jeans. And I do feel like when I sit, I'm not loving it going in right there into my body, you know, with the waistband. Um, so it feels low rise to me, even though it's definitely like a medium rise jean. I'm just used to really high waisted stuff. Um, so I'll have to go back and look on the camera footage and see what I think about the fit of the shorts. Um, about whether or not I'll return them, maybe look for a high-waisted short instead. I'm also not sure I love, like at least to me when I'm looking at the camera and myself wearing this, it looks really dark on the stomach and a lot lighter on the legs than I noticed when I held them. And I'm not sure I love that look either. Um, so top, I like, I think I'll take it with me to the beach. Very pretty. Um, and it's staying up on my shoulders, which is, honestly quite a feat because I do have narrow shoulders. Um, shorts I'm unsure about. I do think the lower rise for me is something that is going to bother me um, wearing it out. But let's move on to the jumpsuit that I got from Freestyle and see about that one. Okay, so here we have the jumpsuit, which I think fits really well. Love the legs. Love the little cuff at the ankle, which 
might be a little bit hard to see, but definitely I think adds to the style. Love the fit of the pants in general. Uh, the drawstring comes up right on my waist and feels really nice. Definitely have room in here, got some pockets. It's very stretchy and nice, but it doesn't look like it's gonna overly stretch out, which we want. Now the top portion does kind of blouse down, which is, it's meant to do by style. I do feel like I wish I could adjust it to be a little bit tighter in the arms. And I probably could have this, um, I probably could take this to a tailor and have them just shorten it a little bit. I will say like when it comes to swimsuits or any adjustable strap, I almost always adjust it all the way tight. So if that's not an issue you face, this is probably fine. I am 5'4", so it just feels like, you know, maybe not for someone a little bit taller than me, but even if I don't get it adjusted, because the top is blousey, it feels good. Just maybe it hangs down a little bit extra here, and if I got it shortened, that would not be an issue at all. Um, and I'd still have a little bit of, you know, flounce at the midsection. But I love this. This is just a, you open this up and you pull it on. And that's my kind of jumpsuit, something easy to get on and off, love. So definitely keeping this, again, so many ways to accessorize it and that is a perfect piece for me. Okay, so I am trying on these two pieces together and actually part of this is like these little flowers right here and they look like they're either black or navy. So these two pieces definitely could be worn together. I also didn't realize that the skirt has a little leg slit, which is really cute and, um, gives a little bit more of a youthful appearance versus too much um, office or something. But let's look at the shirt first. So here is the tank top. I will say I think the 2X fits me really nicely. Has a ruffle all the way in the back too. I definitely think it looks nice on me. And if I were like teaching this summer, I think this would be a great piece to wear in the classroom. Uh, I'm not sure I'd reach for it otherwise but it is really pretty again it's like a ribbed fabric and in terms of length uh, if you want to wear it it comes down to here on me so it is a full length tank top which i know will seem to be hard to find now this skirt i think is really pretty um i can't imagine wearing it with different tops it is light colored and i do sometimes ruin light colored items but i really appreciate the price point it has a stretchy waistband and the skirt itself has a lot of room in it. And I don't even think, like even though it's a cream color, I don't really think it's see-through. I don't think you can really see where my top ends, which is great for such a light colored piece. Um, let me show you the fabric closer up just in case you couldn't see it. But this is the fabric and I do think um, I like it. So this is absolutely a contender to keep. I think the question for me is how often will I wear a pleated skirt? Um, especially because I'm not working this summer. Typically I teach or something over the summer. This summer I've taken off. So will I pull for it? But I also think it could work into fall should I decide to get it. Um, just want to make sure I'm not getting anything that are a little too dressy for me to actually wear. But I do think depending on the top you pick, this could be a pretty casual piece. And you can wear it with sneakers. I'm already talking myself into it. We're seeing how this is going. <laughs> Lola's right here, Maid does not join her right here. <laughs> All right, so this is the wrap dress and it feels really nice on your body. Again, that kind of like slinky, stretchy material just feels nice and light on you. Um, it is a faux wrap, so the skirt is actually all one piece. You're not gonna have to worry about anything opening up. And I do think the length is perfect for me. The back has a V as well, which I think is really pretty. Um, and again, I already liked the print. Now what I'm trying to decide about is the sleeves. So it's kind of got like a fluttery, you know, like I don't know what they're called, flutter triangle type sleeve. To me, the, the, the sleeve type, that triangle, makes a dress feel slightly more matronly, makes it feel slightly more office to me. If it had a different sleeve type, I think it would feel younger, cooler. Um, it's just, you know, we're not seeing this kind of sleeve on many like young trendy styles. So the sleeve bothers me a little bit. Um, I'm not sure, you know, the, the print is really pretty. I'm wearing it with a strapless bra and I know if I was wearing it with a normal bra, I'd probably have a little bit better uh, 
chest position for it. I, I think it's pretty. I think it actually fits me really well. Um, just again, like I feel like, where would I wear this? And again, if I was working, I could see myself wearing it quite a bit. But without working, it's maybe not something I would just put on casually. Um, but I would love to hear what you all think about this piece. Um, and if you think I should keep it or not. Uh, I will say again, super comfortable. Fits like a dream. Um, just not sure the sleeve is the style I'm really going for. And I think it kind of changes the feel of the dress for me. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I know I have a tag sticking out in the back, but um, here's this dress and the back feature for it, which again, I think gives a little bit more of like a rock vibe. Um, let's see, what do I think about this dress? I think it fits nice, I think it feels nice. I do not think that I love the style though. Um, a, I think the print, now that I'm a little bit closer to it, I can see how repetitive it is. It might be a little bit too much of just one kind of tone for me, but I also think I might, oh, Maybe, baby, that's a no. I also think that I might just not be into maxi dresses anymore. Um, yeah, I'm trying to imagine where I'd wear this and it feels wedding-ish. It feels um, nice going out to go drink wine, you know? But again, I probably at this point would go for a shorter dress. Um, so I think just, I'm not feeling maxis, but it is a really nice piece. Now the brushed um, fabric does make it feel a little bit thicker. It makes it feel a little bit warmer, even though it's a tank um, dress, but keep that in mind if you decide you wanna do it. It does have kind of these lines on the bust. Don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a seam here, which is gonna give your bust um, a nice shape. So yeah, I think it's a nice piece. I just don't think it's something I'm gonna reach for personally in my closet. Um, so this one I feel pretty sure about just isn't for me. Okay, and here we have the second jumpsuit. Um, very curious to see this back on camera. From here, it looks cute. I also feel like potentially I can see exactly where my belly button is, but um, <laughs> that is for me seeing uh, the camera reflected back. I do like the shape of the pants part and I like where it hits me on the waist. It could be a fabric or color issue which is why I think I'm seeing a little bit of, of this although it's also where my underwear is sitting so let me uh, rock those up and that probably is going to help a little bit. It does not have pockets. We will forget it. <laughs> does have that nice neckline that's nice and simple. Let's look at the back detail which is you know an exciting part of this piece. So my underwear my underwear show a little bit. I had to wear a little bit lower of underwear that day, but this is what the back looks like. And I could see it being, you know, a fun time to have this little back cutout detail. And I'm wearing a strapless bra right now. It's poking out just a smidge, but I think would be okay should I need to wear it. Um, again, something like this is like an uh, all one color jumpsuit. Super fun to like wear different like kimonos with, jewelry, accessorized belts. So I could see myself keeping this one. Very curious what you all think of this style. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if it's worth me keeping or not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna think about this one. This one, this one, the skirt and the black wrap dress. Curious what your thoughts are on any of those and what I should keep. I think for me right now, the skirt is the most obvious keep. Um, and I have already put $20 towards my Stitch Fix box so that price would come off of it. And then I think possibly the next one is this piece. I am curious if they have it in different colors. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think. And I'm so used to being on a film vertically now that I'm like, wow, I really have to step back to do outfit videos now. Um, so anyways, I am going to head off and I want you to tell me what you think about my Stitch Fix box and which items I should keep. Do y'all wanna see Lola in her little slumber? She's a sleepy girly. Again, we had a very busy day, um, but I do think she is starting to go deaf 
and that makes her really sad. She turns 13 this year. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll talk to you all later and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.